back to another video welcome back to another day in my life vlog it is a new week and guys i haven't vlogged in the last five days because our school if you watch my last vlog they let us have a little break just as some like relief for teachers who have been here and been working their booties off meanwhile we have had like 60 percent of staff out and so if you want to hear all those updates, watch my last couple of vlogs because I talked all about that and I talked all about why we can't go virtual as a district, but since we couldn't go virtual, they basically just gave us a few snow days. They gave us just like three snow days. So we had Friday, the weekend, and then Monday and Tuesday off. So it's now Wednesday, January 26th, and I am feeling so refreshed, so good after having that break, you guys. Like, I didn't realize how bad I needed it. I didn't really do a single thing. I laid on the couch, watched a lot of TV, I read a couple books, and I've been trying to get into reading more lately, which I'll talk to you guys about that later. I'm reading Verity by Colleen Hoover right now because literally every single person on the face of the earth recommended that book to me, and it's so good, and I just finished Silent Patient before that, which was also so good. Um, but as you can hear, I'm like super congested. I'm not sick. I know I'm not sick because I know what I feel like when I'm sick, and I'm not sick. But my throat is just like <clears throat> so congested because I think it's just allergies. It's literally three degrees outside, you guys. Again, we're having indoor recess probably all week because it's so freaking cold out. We can't be outside. But it's been a pretty good day. We started off the morning really strong and <laughs> it's like as the day goes on, it's been, it's, it's been tough. Like they're just like chattier than ever today i've had to raise my voice a lot which i feel like it's making me like lose my voice even more and if you're a teacher with like no voice it is so frustrating because you're trying to like talk over 20 kids who are very loud um but i am about to eat lunch and then we actually have plcs which means that as a grade level we have to go meet in the conference room with like our ad admin and we are doing a bunch of not so fun stuff talking about like testing and progress monitoring and all of that and we're entering data and scores and it's just like not what I want to do on my break because I really try to soak up these like 40 minutes that I have before having to go get my kids but it is what it is so <laughs> I'm about to go do that and then soon I will check in with you guys and kind of like tell you our plans for the day and plans for the week we only have three days this week obviously since it's already Wednesday um but I'm gonna try to eat my lunch real quick before I have to go to our PLCs okay guys I am um back in my classroom um I have like 10 minutes to myself and I've actually been sitting down and um, I'm trying to finish up a class that I've been taking on Skillshare. I've talked about Skillshare before with you guys. I love them and that's why I continue to work with them because I am a personal fan of Skillshare and a member of Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online platform with thousands of inspiring classes for people who are interested in taking on a new skill or learning something new or someone who just wants that creative outlet. It's a place where I personally go whenever I kind of want that creative outlet, a place for me to like invest in myself and my own personal growth. They have classes if you have a certain skill you wanna learn like photography or graphic design or whatever it may be, they have classes for those specific skills or they have more broad classes and maybe you don't even know exactly what class you want to take right now. They have thousands of classes for you to search through. As an entrepreneur, over the past couple of years, I have started my own business and side hustle if you want to call it. And so it's been really important for me to continue building my knowledge on all things business and marketing and really continuing to build my skills in those areas. So a place like Skillshare where you can learn new skills and learn from other professionals, it just, it's really inspiring to me and I love learning from other people who have their own businesses and side hustles. You guys know I talked about how I took um, Jonathan Van Ness's class, The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. That was one of my favorite classes um, that I've taken, especially by him, he's my favorite. Last Last month I talked about the YouTube success by Marquise Brownlee class which I really really loved um, since YouTube has become 
a new outlet for me to express my creativity and build my own brand and learning from someone like him who has kind of mastered the YouTube world. It was super inspiring. And currently I'm taking a class by Emma Gannon and this class is called Finding Fulfillment Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career. And this class is all about kind of rediscovering your passions and taking active steps towards becoming responsible for your own dreams and kind of finding out what sparks that happiness and joy in you. And she comes up with a lot of really great and inspiring exercises designed to kickstart and map out your plan for how you're going to achieve these goals. So I've really been enjoying her class. Skillshare is ad-free, so you don't have to worry about those annoying ads. There's new premium classes every single week, so there's always a new class for you to discover. Their entire catalog is now available in subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. So Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description below a free one month trial of Skillshare. 100% for you guys a whole month which gives you so much time to explore different classes and even if you're not sure exactly what you would want to do explore their site like I said they have thousands of classes all different skills and they're all just so inspiring so why not just see if there's something that could spark your interest so I will leave the link down below to Skillshare if you guys are interested in checking them out all right I'm about to go pick up my kids but guys look how big my monstera plant is getting I like can't even fit it in the frame oh my gosh see he keeps falling okay don't get mad at me my plant mom's out there I know I know I feel so bad that he's falling over but I just ordered on Amazon um some of the <laughs> what do they call it the sticks that help them stand up straight so I just ordered a really really tall one um with stakes that I can tie him up so he can start sitting up straight and guys he's literally so tall he's gonna reach the ceiling by the end of the year I just know it um I just love it. I'm glad that he's growing, but he, whenever I was away over the break, he started slumping and falling over, and I didn't know that I needed to start kind of tying him to a stake, so I guess that's what I'm going to start doing. All right, I'm going to go pick my kids up from Sessions, and I'll check in with you guys later. So, today has been a day. I am... Honestly, just kind of like, I don't know. I have like never felt, <laughs> I feel like I've never felt like worse about myself as a teacher than I did today. Um, just being like brutally honest because I feel like I've been 100% honest up to this point. So why not just keep it going? <laughs> There's a lot of things that I can't really go into. Basically, I'm just um, struggling with a few things one I'm struggling a lot with like comparing myself and like <laughs> I am always preaching like don't compare yourself to other teachers especially veteran teachers and I think I preach that so much because I'm almost like talking to myself you know I'm like I know that's something that I struggle with and today was one of those days where I just felt like I didn't know what I was doing and I just felt like incapable of doing this job if I'm honest there's just a lot that goes into teaching more than just being in the classroom like being in the classroom is my jam I feel like I have it down like it's what I'm good at it's where I thrive it's where I'm comfortable building relationships with students um, classroom management it's all like my comfort zone like I feel confident in my those abilities um today was one of those days where it really kind of like shows all of the extra stuff that there is though there's so much else to teaching besides just being in the classroom and just standing in front of the classroom teaching and making fun lessons and keeping your students engaged like there's a whole other world of testing and data tracking and progress monitoring and it's a lot it's like I feel like no one really talked about it like I remember hearing about like all the extra like 
responsibilities that you had as a teacher and like how <clears throat> they put a lot of pressure on teachers and testing but like I just feel like I never really heard teachers like actually talk about how hard it can be I guess today it just made me realize like there's a lot <laughs> that I need to improve on and I, I always knew there's a lot but today I just almost felt like I was failing at the whole teacher thing and I guess that sounds really dramatic to some people because I feel like a lot of my audience like views me as this like perfect teacher and like I feel a lot of pressure to be like this teacher that has it all together and like has perfect lesson plans and perfect classroom management and knows what I'm doing all the time and I do not. It can be hard when I'm comparing myself to teachers who have been teaching for 20 years because I watch them like have it all together and it's like I am just not there and I wish I could like get more detail but I just honestly don't want to go into it too much um but I've just been feeling inadequate as a teacher and like just wondering if I even have what it takes honestly to do this job it's just a lot and I just don't feel like I've been doing the best I can and I feel like teachers are literally superheroes the things that they do the fact that we are expected to give 100% of ourselves to every single student in our classroom is like I can't be in 20 places at once all day every day and give 20 individual students my 100% attention all day every day you know and I feel like that's kind of like the effort that's placed on us and lately I've just been feeling like there's more letdowns than like being lifted up I don't have enough of those like moments where I'm like yes like this is all worth it like I'm doing so good my kids are doing so good like we're thriving it's like those are very like few and far between and it's like daily I have moments where I'm just like I am not doing enough I need to be doing more I'm questioning myself I'm questioning if I'm doing a good job if I'm even doing the job that I'm expected to do and um yeah I don't know y'all I'm just struggling if you can't tell and I'm just like word vomiting it out to you because I feel kind of alone because I feel like a lot of people just don't get it um and I don't feel like there's many people I can like confide in around here so if you're a teacher and you know how I feel <laughs> comment down below so we can chat um I'm just feeling a little down right now if I'm honest and um, I just want to always be honest with you guys because sometimes I come on here and I'm like so excited like showing you guys all these lesson plans and like oh my god we've been doing so good today and like yeah we do have those days and I have my moments where I feel like a superhero teacher right I feel like I'm doing it all like my kids are thriving like I have those moments they're just rare so that's where I'm at and thanks for listening don't mean to depress you guys right now um on the positive side this sweater is really cute it's from my teacher style box i just am like dressing really comfy today with some flowy pants that's like the worst angle ever some flowy pants and converse um it's the end of the day i just dropped my kids off at the buses and i just came back here to like decompress because I honestly, like I said earlier, haven't had like a moment to myself today because we've just been in meetings. I just need like a moment to myself throughout the day. Um, but I've just been feeling like expectations are like so high. Like they expect us to be like this superhero teacher when it comes to classroom management, behavior management, relationships with your students, relationships with your students' parents, keeping track of data progress monitoring, staying up to date with the testing and then entering the testing, but also asking for help when you need it. And I am like so overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm just trying to survive. So when I see teachers that I've been teaching for like 20 years and they're doing all that flawlessly, like don't have a single question or struggle, I'm just like, I don't understand how it's possible. And that just like, I'm the type of person, like I wanna have it all together. I can't help it that's just like how I am I want to have it all together I want to know I want to be the person in the room that knows what she's doing like I don't want to be the person who's sitting there like feeling like you're like constantly trying to catch up with like people around you I hate that feeling so that's just how I'm feeling um 
we're getting real personal on this channel. That's just where I'm at. I'm just gonna open up to you guys about how I'm feeling and right now I'm feeling blah. So I'm gonna leave because I need to practice what I preach. You know, this is just a job. You know, I can't let it like take over my whole day, my entire mood. Um, I need to pick myself up and kind of like carry on with my day and then come back tomorrow with like a fresh start because right now I feel like blah about this job. Right now like I'm feeling down. <laughs> so I need to like flip the pancake. <laughs> leave do something that brings me joy i'm gonna go to pier bar after school i'm gonna go get my nails done um just like do a couple of things that's just like time with me where i can just like think and like decompress and do things that like gets my mind off of teaching and like doing things i enjoy that way it's like a big deep breath i can come back tomorrow and be a better teacher hopefully <laughs> so Thanks for coming to my talk today. I did not expect this video to go this way. I was like, if you can tell, I was in a good mood this morning. Honestly, we had the best morning. Like I said, it was going a little downhill, but we had the best morning and um, I just don't know why we can't get it together. <laughs> so much better after <laughs> guys what is this probably should have waited to take my hair down but um I feel so much better after like getting some movement in and just like getting out and doing things that I enjoy and getting my endorphins up and I got my nails done as you guys saw I love them one of my favorite colors probably that I've ever done so cute um but it felt good just to like sweat it all out and they were playing loud music and it was just so fun. Um, but I'm actually kind of sad. I'm canceling my Pure Bar membership just because I want to focus more on lifting, like going to the gym and lifting weights over the next couple months or whoever knows how long. I'm always switching things up. That's why it's like I get a membership one month and then like a few months later I'll cancel just because I get tired of things and I'm not like tired of Pure Bar it's just not my favorite thing that I do currently and it's pretty expensive monthly so I'm just gonna cut it out um, and I haven't been like looking forward to going to Pure Bar and if I stop like enjoying a workout that I'm doing I just stop doing it because um, I think that you should enjoy the workouts that you do they should be somewhat fun and enjoyable so I decided to just cancel um, but I still have the month of February because it's always like 30 day notice and I always forget and so I always end up paying for a month that I don't want so I'm paying for February but that's okay I'm just gonna go for the next month um, since I'm paying for it anyway and then I'm gonna cancel and I am going to keep my Orange Theory membership but I'm going to go down to doing Orange Theory once a week instead of twice a week just because I was getting super burnt out I know some people do Orange Theory literally five or six times a week I could never do that I get so burnt out from it it's like the same thing over and over and over um, but I'm going to keep it for one day a week I think I think I'd enjoy doing it just one day a week and then just keeping like the rest of my week like really open and flexible like I can go to the gym and do like an arm day and then a leg day um stuff like that I just like to switch things up keep it 
interesting. I cannot believe my hair right now that's like atrocious how it looks. I need to go home and shower. But yeah, just want to update you guys. I'm doing a lot better, feeling a lot better. So if you're feeling down in the dumps, get out of the house, go do something that you love, self-care, and go get a workout in so you can just like move your body. Like I was not thinking about school one time during that workout because you're just focusing on like your mind muscle like mind body connection you're focusing on like sweating you're hot you're tired you're like jamming to music like there's no like real stressful thoughts going on whenever I work out so that's why it's just like a full hour just to, like escape everything um so highly recommend going and just like sweating it out whatever you like to do even if it's just like walking on a treadmill for 10 minutes go do it Okay, one, I apologize about the horrible lighting in here. Um, we have two out of three light bulbs out and both Kyle and I have both just been too lazy to change them. So it's like a very moody lighting in here every night, which I actually kind of like not for filming, but at night it's like kind of cozy in here. Um, but y'all, I cannot wait to move. <laughs> like Kyle and I have lived in this apartment for over two years now, which is like the longest I've ever lived in an apartment. Um, just because I get tired of like living in the same place. Now, if I had a nice house, I wouldn't get tired of that. But when you've been living in an apartment since you're 20, it's just like I get really sick of it. Um, and so I am like dying to get into a house, you guys. Kyle gets so annoyed. I talk about it every day. I'm like, look at this house I found on Zillow. Like literally in my free time, all I do is look at houses on Zillow. We're not buying, we're just gonna rent for now, but I don't care. Like I would way rather spend my money on rent on a house than apartment at this age i'm 25 i've been in an apartment since i was 20 and i'm just over it i want a backyard i want a garage i want more space and yeah i just cannot freaking wait to take you guys along with us like when we move this year if you haven't watched that video i'll try to have it tagged right there but i just made a whole video over why we're moving this year when we're moving we don't know where yet stay tuned for that we find out in march but um could be out of state potentially so i'm just gonna take you guys along with me through that whole process um but definitely hoping to get a house it definitely depends like wherever we move our budget's gonna be so different some states and cities that we could potentially live in are really expensive and so it's not and we're gonna be living in the city so it's not likely that we'll be able to afford a house in the city um but there are some cities that are a lot more affordable in which i found plenty of houses in our budget and i'm so freaking excited i like i think about it every day <laughs> you guys need to follow me on pinterest i literally all i do is add home decor stuff i just went on canvas the other day over my five day break this is what i did i made like a little inspiration like decor inspo i'll just put a picture of some of the decor i did like our living room inspo bedroom inspo kitchen inspo bathroom inspo i like went really hard you guys i was just like finding all this furniture that i wanted from different um websites and places and so just like if this is your vibe stay tuned because i'm so excited if i can find a house or apartment that i really love that's when i'll spend the money on decorating it like furnishing it this apartment we literally took all of kyle's old furniture from his apartment that he had before this i sold all of my like cute furniture and we just kept all of his because it was functional we already had it we didn't have to pay for it you know it just was like what worked at the time and i mean if it were up to him he would stay in this apartment forever and live on those couches forever but i'm a woman i need I'm, I'm into interior design he doesn't get it like i like cannot wait to decorate our space and he does not get why i want to do that but i am just so excited and so i'm going to take you guys along with me whenever we like go house hunting and whenever we find the house and whenever we move and then i'll take you with me through like decorating the house and all that i'm really excited if you can't tell <laughs> by the way i've been using this deep cleansing oil by dhc to remove my makeup for the longest time and i really really like it i need more than just like a makeup wipe personally to take off my makeup like i can't just wipe my face i need like an oil like something to like melt my makeup off i've also heard the clinique um melt the day away i think it's called uh, makeup remover is really nice it's like a balm i really want to try that 
um, but I love DHC. I love SkinCeuticals. They have really good stuff. It's pricey, but it's just really good stuff. I've heard a lot about Dermalogica, so I recently purchased the Dermalogic Gentle Foaming Cleanser. This is what I've been using in the shower along with my Tula Facial Cleanser. I'm never just using one thing. That's why I love working with skincare companies. You'll notice a lot on my channel because I love trying out different skincare products because one, it's just fun to switch it up. Like I like using something different every day or every other day. And two, I've heard that it's good that your hair and your skin doesn't like get used to the same products and it's good to kind of like switch it up. Um, and I love just like finding products that work on my skin and some that don't and it's just kind of fun for me. Um, so yeah, I've been liking these. I almost always go in with some sort of like toner cleansing pad after I wash my face just to get all the excess dirt, anything that's left on my face. And these are the Tula Breakout Breakthrough ones for acne, which I actually have been breaking out like you probably can't even see, but more than normal. Um, so that's not fun. I'm going to go in with this Dirty Lamb Ultra Night Serum. This stuff's pretty like heavy duty. So you really only need to use like a few drops. And then I really just like pat this into my face. And trust me, if you use too much, you'll know like your face, like even that was almost too much. It like is so thick. And I don't use it every night just because it's so thick. Um, but it's really, really moisturizing. Just make sure you don't get this stuff in your eyes. I always kind of like pat it around my eyes. I don't know if these even do much, but I love the Tula eye balms, like the roller eye balms. Um, I don't really like struggle with under eye bags that much every now and then. They'll just, I'll get like dark circles, but I don't need a product like this. But to me, honestly, I use it because it just feels so so good it's like this one at least is really cooling this is the rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm and this one I swear has like highlighter in it It like really brightens up your eyes like I would use this on like the tips of my cheeks why not it just like really brightens your skin up and then I have another one this is the 24 7 power swipe hydrating day and night eye balm I know some people that like swear by these, um, which I just can't really testify to because I don't struggle with a lot of eye bags, but if you're someone who does, try them out. And then I don't use this every night, but tonight I'm going to because I haven't used it in a while. This is the Liliana Naturals Retinol Cream. Retinol can be pretty intense. You're not supposed to go out in the sun with it on your face, but I personally only use it at night before bed and um, I don't use it every night, but this formula specifically is very mild, unlike some like straight retinol creams. Um, this one's very mild and you really don't need too much of it. A little goes a long way, but I've never had any problems with this like irritating my skin. Okay, TMI talk. Do you guys struggle with acne on your back during the winter time, like during the winter months? Because I really, really struggle with it. I know it's because of the dryness of winter time and like, cold weather and my skin's just like so dry so I try to keep it moisturized but I'm really bad at moisturizing my back because I never feel like going in with like lotion back there and so my back in the winter time only like in the summer I don't have any breakouts ever on my back or really anywhere because I'm like always moisturized and I'm like out in the sun um which I know it can be like good for breakouts but in the winter time my back gets so freaking bad you guys let me know if any of you guys like struggle with this I don't really care talking about it because I think everybody struggles with acne and stuff like that and we shouldn't be embarrassed about it. It's just hormones, especially as women, our hormones are always going crazy. That's why we are getting breakouts on our face, on our chest, on our back, everywhere. So let's normalize talking about breakouts, okay? Also, Kathy and I went to Ulta over the weekend and I got a few things, but one of my favorite things that I got is this Morphe. Um, it's like the setting mist. This is the white one, which is just like mattifying. They have the black one too. My favorite thing about these, honestly, it's the way it comes out of the applicator. Like it comes out like a super fine mist, which like feels so good on your face. It's not like a big like squirt <laughs> on your face. Guess what? Of course, guess what? The only thing that's broke on this bottle is the spray. Like nothing comes out. I was so excited to like put on my face this morning. I like braced myself and like, oh, like nothing came out. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go. I tried to like take it off and put it back on, but it's still not working. So I think it's just broken. I'm gonna have to return it. Okay, skincare is done. Looking like a glazed donut. I'm in my Skims robe, y'all. It's 
like the softest thing ever you already know i did not wash my hair but guess what we're just gonna we're gonna work with it and just brush it out every time i put it up i get these like really annoying kinks in it but i have really thick hair so when i sleep in it they always go away like my hair is very resilient and it'll like straighten itself out overnight Okay guys, I am returning my teacher style box clothes that I got this month. I have two sweaters and I'll show you how I do it. They send you this bag that's like really big, fits all the clothes to return it in. Then you just seal it all together and all I do is have USPS pick it up, set it outside of my front door, they come pick it up, return it, and you notify teacher style box that you're returning the items and then they ship you another box. So as fast as you can return them, you can get a whole new box. Okay, Kyle's making me dinner, so I'm gonna go eat and I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. <laughs> I would love to say I am in a much better mood today and it's been like the best day ever, but no, I am not gonna lie. My patience is like barely, barely there today. It hasn't like been a product of how the day has gone. It's just, I woke up this morning with no patience. <laughs> And I'm just, um, as a teacher, you have to have all the patience in the world. Not a little bit of patience, a lot of patience. So I've been seeming even more impatient today just because of what my job entails. And I've had to give myself a lot of pep talks. Like, they're just kids. They're just kids. They're just kids. <laughs> like, it's just hard, you guys. Because I, when you have no patience. Like... Okay, sorry. As I was filming earlier, I literally got interrupted. <laughs> and totally forgot i had to uh, meet with my team and plan during my break today so that was fun um sorry i'm chewing on a jolly rancher right now um but right now i'm going through a lot of papers because i am planning for next week i usually plan for my weeks on thursdays those are the days that i meet with my grade level team to plan so i went through and just got a bunch of stuff from the copier and the printer. So now I'm going to organize it into my 15 drawer cart. If you guys are kind of interested in how I lesson plan, I do have a video all on that. And I went like really in depth on how I lesson plan. So I'll have that linked here. But yeah, let's go ahead and sort through all this. done for the day all planned and organized for next week which means it just makes Fridays a lot easier on me and just makes me feel good like getting it out of the way you know that's why I don't save it for Fridays to do I try to get it done on Thursdays but it's the end of the school day today was the longest day honestly the fact that this is a three-day week is blowing my mind because it has felt so long like I cannot believe it's only been two days so far and we still have tomorrow it just seems so long but on the plus side kyle and i have started looking at some cruises that we could potentially be going on over spring break because i have like a nine day spring break i think nine or ten days and we started talking about like maybe we should just us two go on like a little getaway like a little cruise because i fun fact have never been on a cruise in my life and i've always wanted to he's been on one and i've always wanted to go on one so we've been talking about that idea throwing that around so let me know if you guys have ever been on a cruise before comment down below if you have and if you like it if there are certain cruise lines we've been looking into a lot of different cruise lines we were trying to stay away from like carnival we don't want anything like too popular um but then again we don't want anything like too luxury like too expensive so let me know if you guys have any cruise lines that you guys are fans of that you've gone on before or any like specific ports or places that you've gone to let me know 
I know that's like two months away, but hey, it gives us something to look forward to. That's why it's always fun to plan trips. But anyway, I'm going to end up this vlog here because I'm going home and I'm going to start a new vlog probably tomorrow. So make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already. It really supports my channel whenever you hit that button. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you made it to the end of the video by telling me what your spring break plans are. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.